Soul. Hey, people. It's me, Vaughn. Uh, I make comic books, and I am, uh, I'm going to have a little fun today. We're going to do a two-for-one. We're going to double down. We're going to do a review of Deadpool Wolverine, the movie that has broken all the records, the highest grossing rated R movie of all time. If you told little me who loved Wolverine, Wolverine was my man growing up as a kid, that little me, if you told me that when one day Wolverine would be the main character, if you will, even more than Deadpool was, um, of the highest grossing rated R movie of all time, my mind would have just exploded all over the place. <laughs> so now it's become real. It's something I didn't expect. When I heard they were putting Wolverine into Deadpool, I thought it was just uh, audience bait to get people to go see the movie. I did not know that they were gonna make it a movie called Deadpool Wolverine instead of just Deadpool 3. And that Wolverine would essentially become the heart of the movie. And in honor of this fabulous movie in which Wolverine is walking around in his classic yellow and blue suit. I will be unboxing today as we talk about this movie. I'm gonna be unboxing this beautiful, beautiful Wolverine in his classic yellow suit. It's 112. It's, I don't know, I, it's a collectible. We're gonna get into this, let's, let's enjoy this. When I was a kid, I'm gonna be frank with you guys. I liked Wolverine in his brown and yellow suit. For me, that was Wolverine on his own and that's what I liked best. I didn't worry about him being in the X-Men as much. I liked him being the solo Logan, roaming the, the wilderness, you know? All on his own, taking on horrible, horrible uh, atrocities, bad guys, monsters, surviving in the wilderness just being the badass solo guy that he is. But I gotta admit something, as I got older, and after some great X-Men comics came out where Wolverine was part of the team and he kind of went back to his blue and yellow, I, and when I saw Todd McFarlane do a Spider-Man story with Wendigo where Wolverine shows up in his blue and yellow, it started to grow on me. The blue and yellow is important because in a way, it's kind of him no, it's definitely not 12 inch. It's kind of him uh, being part of the X-Men team. And I know the first time we see him in the blue and yellow, he's, he's working for the Canadian government. He's Weapon X. He's coming to fight the Hulk, right? But over the years, if anything, I think the blue and yellow has kind of come to represent his bond with the X-Men team. And in this movie, in Deadpool Wolverine, the suit is not a suit that he would normally wear. It's the suit he would wear while being in the X-Men team. And Wolverine says himself that Scott Summers, Cyclops, begged him to wear this suit. Begged him to wear this suit. So let's look at what we get in this. This is badass. We got lots of heads here. We got the figure here. Let's get this off so we can see how amazing this really is. We're gonna, we're gonna free you, Wolfie, I promise. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh my God, I didn't know his costume was gonna be actual cloth. Let's start with him, and look at this. Speaking of original Wolverine, oh my dear a god. Oh, that's original Wolf. Wolfie, that's him. That's him coming to fight the Hulk, and he gets bonked on the head, it knocks him out. It would've smashed any other normal man's skull, but Wolverine don't got normal bone. Wolverine's got adamantium raised bones. He's a weapon of destruction, super hard to kill. I don't like the idea that he's immortal. I don't like the idea that you can't kill him. That's nonsense. You can kill Wolverine. You can kill the guy. It's just really hard to, and that's what makes him cool. So this is our original Wolverine head. It has this nice spandexy uh, cloth around what looks like pretty badass muscles. Here, uh, this, is, this is cool as hell so far. And, uh, and very classic, very classic. You see, you got the stripes here. It looks cool. It's looking good. And of course, we have all these different hands we can put on that are gonna give him his claws. We have different, all kinds. I mean, this is, we even have bone claws, dude. Are you kidding me? This is truly for a fan of Wolverine, I, in my opinion. Um, I'm, what is this? We have a different belt? Okay, so if you wanna go with an original old school belt without the X-Men, they got you covered. How cool is that? And then you've got an X buckle here, so you can have a square buckle. All kinds of thoughtfulness went into this, guys. I'm telling you, this is great. We have these slashes, because he could be a slashy one. What even is this? This is his, is this his hood being worn down? 
So you can put his hood down and then grab one of these heads without the hood and just have it being a badass. Really, really cool. I, I, I'm, I'm already like, the, the possibilities, guys, of the combinations on this thing are endless. So I, I went and saw Wolverine and Deadpool, or Deadpool Wolverine alone. I got to tell you, it was something that I had to do alone. I don't want anyone else there distracting me or, you know, someone to worry about meeting up with or any bullshit like that. This was a movie that I've been waiting for since I was a little kid. And I didn't really realize it at the time. I just kind of felt it. So I just, I went alone. I'm going to judge it. Maybe it's a piece of crap. Maybe it's just a bunch of nonsense. Instead, what I ended up getting was this great movie that wasn't a bummer for, for Logan for once. It wasn't a, it, it was, it, it made him, he was kind of the heart and soul of this movie. Hugh Jackman did a fantastic job. I'll try not to spoil too much, but there'll be, probably be a few little spoilers here and there. And I really, really like what he did. Let's grab this. Let's grab this head. This head looks special. Look at this. Wolverine with some battle damage. And he's grinning through it. You gotta love it. You can even see, if we look up close, you can see the adamantium shining through on his skull. Is that not rad? I'm pulling your head off, son. We're replacing you right away. I've always, I, I don't think you can do just Wolverine on his own and make him look as cool as he needs to look. He needs to be torn up by the world. Wolverine is the ultimate survivor character. That's why and a lot of people like him in brown and yellow and I love the brown and yellow too. But the blue and yellow, especially in this movie, it came to kind of represent that he needed to accept that he's an X-Man and that he really needs to be the X-Man. He needs to be more than just the loner always off on his own. That he does need others. That he does need to contribute and be a hero with others and team up. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, this is already really, really cool looking. Now, here's what's awesome about this. Woo! We lost a few pieces here, but we got them. We got them. We got them. Whew! That was hard to get out. Let's see. We've got a Sentinel's Eye. That's a nice little preview of what's to come because underneath here, it's very heavy. We have a stand. We have a stand with, with an X-Man, it's classic, but we have another one that's a destroyed Sentinel with batteries because it lights up. Yeah. How cool is that? So I tried to avoid any spoilers for this movie. And I went in and I love Deadpool. People compare me to Deadpool a lot. Look at that. Look at that. What? What? Can I put this eye in here? Can I put the eye in? I can put the eye in. Oh my God, that's so rad. What? Oh, here's the on off switch right there. It's hidden in. Look at this. Now I'm gonna set Wolvie up on top of this whenever I get it on my shelf, guys. Look at all the damage to it. Isn't that not awesome? So this thing is, this is a serious piece of, uh, of, of toy love here. Look, you can get Wolverine doing his double X slash if you want. I don't even know how you're gonna do that. I guess the claws go into these three holes here, right here and here, or here and here on the bottom. And you could have him doing a slash, and then, or you could have him classic, standing on a nice X-Man stand here. So I'm watching the movie. What's this? Ooh, 112 collectibles. I guess this is a little bag for holding uh, parts that you need to make sure you don't lose. Here's your uh, your arm stand. So I'm watching this movie, I'm, I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it, but it got emotional on me, man. And it, one of the fun things about it was it knew that it was gonna do cameos, but instead of being weird about the cameos and like, oh, you don't, you guys like that? And just kind of feeding you slop to just get, to placate you. It kind of leaned into the cameos as a joke, which made it fun, which made it, it, it didn't take itself too seriously. And at the same time, it had some of the, probably arguably the best cameos you're ever gonna see in a Marvel movie. And at the, by the time it was over, I was thinking to myself, this is the best Wolverine movie I've ever seen. I mean, he was Wolverine in the other movies. Yes, Hugh Jackman won me over from X-Men 1 onward. He won me over that he was Wolverine. But I had kind of given up on ever seeing the cowl on Wolverine. For some reason, Hollywood just didn't know how to make it work or they didn't want to and they didn't take it seriously. They just thought it was silly. Well, not to us. And if anything, here's what's so interesting. You watch all these movies. It's been 24 years of Hugh Jackman being Wolverine, right? And then he finally slides on the cowl towards the end of the movie and all is right in the world. Like the, it's the coolest looking cowl. He looks just like Wolverine. It doesn't look silly. He looks fantastic. But what was so cool was in part of the plot of the movie and the, the symbolism of it, when he slid on the cowl, 
It was like him admitting, I am an X-Man. I am part of this. This is bigger than me. I don't have to be the loner. I can team up for something greater than myself. And I just thought that was so rad. He, when he slipped it on, it wasn't just about, oh, he wears his cowl, that cool. No, they made it have meaning. And that's really important that they did that because we waited 24 years to see this. And they gave it, they made it work with the character and his story arc. His arc was he tried to be a loner. He, he, he wasn't there for the X-Men when he could have been, when he needed to be, you know? And it was time for him to admit who he really is. He's an X-Man. So yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be great. I don't know if there's uh, some ways to like, you just pose him up here and just, you know, balance him on it or what, but I'm gonna have him on top of this Sentinel having defeated it and looking like he just had some great battle damage. I'm gonna put his claws on him. Anyway, um, the movie itself, great pacing, kind of a convoluted plot. Some people call it paper thin. I, it, it was making fun of the multiverse while utilizing it and giving us fantastic cameos. So it was a really enjoyable movie. Um, it's not some, it, it, and the fights in it, like the Deadpool and Wolverine fight multiple times in this movie and tear each other to pieces and it is fun. It's hilarious. It's violent. Um, it's every. It's guys. We're getting to see a rated R Wolverine fight, like for real. Like it's it's amazing. Hugh Jackman does great. In a way, by the time it was over, I realized that Ryan Reynolds had kind of put himself in the back seat to give all these other great people their cameos. Great cameos for great X Men characters and other characters. In a way, this movie became a love letter to the Fox superhero and Marvel movies that they made over the years. Movies like Blade, movies like Daredevil, movies uh, that movies that never got made that we wanted to see, you know, people uh, play Gambit, for instance, a little something, something, things like that. We got to see some really great things here. So I'm really happy with how it came out. It was kind of a love letter for fans without being too corny and, uh, in the end, what we got was this fabulous kind of final movie for Hugh Jackman, who I thought it was never coming back as Wolverine. It was kind of a bummer. He was in that movie. Um, let me keep grabbing some, let me grab some stuff here while I'm talking to you guys. He was in that movie, uh, Logan. And it was like, oh, what? Uh, let's give Wolverine to like an artsy hipster dude and have him do his hipster take on Wolverine. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, and let's kill him because I'm the cool artsy hipster dude. And <laughs> it was just a bummer. It was a bummer, man. It was a bummer. And uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't really care for it. I, I Maybe I'll watch it again and give it a shot. I didn't see why everyone was acting like it was so brilliant or whatever. Oh, it's so brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. It wasn't brilliant. There was nothing brilliant about that movie. It was just some hipster playing with Wolverine and then killing him and then pretending he's more brilliant than us for, for killing him. You know, and then this movie comes along and goes, eh, screw all that shit. <laughs> Screw all that. What if we gave Wolverine an actual, like, a, a family again? What if we gave him a real ending? What if we gave him an ending that is uplifting for once? So, I don't know. I thought that was kind of special. I thought that was kind of cool. It was, it, it undid the downer that was Logan for me. Um, and they put him in a yellow and blue suit with a cowl, and he didn't look stupid. The thing Hollywood was scared to do, they did it. And it came out fantastic, guys. If you want to watch Wolverine butcher people on screen like a madman, like you've been imagining since you were a kid, go see this movie. You'll love it. <laughs> Even if you're more of a fan of the brown and yellow, don't worry. They get a mo that gets suit gets a moment too. Only they'd put him in the cow for that shot. Ooh, would have been good too. But they couldn't. They had to have the cow be his character changing over to accepting that he is an X Man and always will. So good stuff. I hopefully didn't reveal too much and uh, you can go see it if you haven't yet and just enjoy the hell out of it. I, uh, I'm i gonna get this all put together, get some batteries in this bad boy, get it all lit up. I'll take some shots of it for you, but I appreciate you tuning in and uh, I'm just here to make good comics and comment on all this stuff. Um, I get these figures every now and then from family members for Christmas and stuff. I'm not like Mr. Goes Out and Buys all the expensive action figures. I don't have a lot of cash. I'm just a guy who makes comics and um, doesn't have all the money in the world. So I'm really glad that my family members know what I like. <laughs> and this this is fantastic. I like this figure so far a lot. He's really, really cool looking. He's really badass. And uh, he's gonna look even more badass standing on the Sentinel after having defeated it. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, like this, subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments if you saw the movie already. 
Uh, what did you think about how the yellow suit played out and the cowl and everything? Did Hugh nail it? Because, I, I mean, damn, did I think Hugh nailed it. Uh, in a weird way, it kind of becomes Wolverine's movie. He's the heart of it. Great stuff. I appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next one, I hope. Uh, remember to stay true and be cool to each other, and take care. Hey, guys, check this out. Oh, <laughs> yes. Me likey likey. This is too cool. Ha, 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 ha.